welcome back to this channel uh, i remain nelcon the amazon kdp expert so when i publish this particular video i have so many questions let me pause i have so many questions when it comes to 30 percent uh removing the 30 percent tax so when i created this video let me say i didn't complete i believe everybody should understand how it's been done but uh, like i always say the method of assimilation of everybody is quite different. The fact that I can assimilate fast um, uh, doesn't mean other people can assimilate the same I assimilate. You get so for the sake of that, it's not their fault, but it's how they are being programmed. Yeah, it's how God programmed their their brain or their mind or whatever you want to call it. So under this video, there's this question that I've been getting repeatedly, repeatedly. It talk, it talks about let me see removing the tax percent tax both on my whatsapp because as 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 you all know now i have my direct whatsapp link this is it boss boss it says boss one last question how do you remove the 30 percent tax charges on kindle villa notes i need to correct this statement all we did is just to have that kindle villa shown on our dashboard not that you are publishing a kindle villa book i need to correct that mindset you are not a pub you are not publishing kindle yes you can comp comp publish a kindle villa maybe after i'm done with this video i will explain but better but still you are still on amazon kdp it's just that we added that us address on our when we were setting up our accounts that's why we we tend of having the kindle villa before now we don't have it do you get so you are still on Amazon KDP, publishing your books normally as you are publishing on Amazon KDP. That's what we are still doing. All we just did is to have that Kindle Villa shown on our dashboard to confirm that, yes, the setting we have done or we are about to do is correct to what we expect. So without wasting much of your time, guys, let me just go back. And guys, please, please, and please give these videos a thumbs up subscribe to my channel because it's your support that will keep me going honestly speaking seeing the subscription growing is what i'll get and people that have subscribed on, into uh, in less than one week now i sincerely appreciate you guys you are you are <clears throat> excuse me you are the real g you are the reason why i keep waking up every now and then to come and give you what you are requesting for guys so your subscription is what to keep me going and you watching my video to the end is what will keep me going guys i give it to you guys so let me just dive into what we are about to do today so like i said we'll be setting up uh, another account entirely so for those that didn't see the last video or seen the process so this particular video will be complete as you can see set up your amazon your kdp account and having the kindle villa shown on your dashboard that's the basic reason why we are doing this so that our Kindle Villa will show you that 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 will make it uh yes the settings we we did is correct and next thing is how to how to add your bank details you know for the last video I assume you guys will understand some people understand why does some don't understand like I said the rate of assimilation of everybody is different and uh, I'm not disputing that fact but don't worry I'll be doing that in this video. And lastly, is removing that thirty percent tax. You need you need to have an account. You need to input the account details. Before now, you might not input account details, and you'll be able to remove thirty percent tax. But lately, you need to, especially for the kind of account we want to set up now, you need to add your uh, bank account before you'll be able to remove the thirty percent tax. So, guys, without further ado, let's dive in. So, I love using incognito tab normally. I believe you should have an Amazon account for this to be done. So you, uh, you log into Amazon, Amazon. You log into Amazon. What's logging into Amazon? They will because I'm using incognito tab for reason best known to me. I'm not saying you should use incognito tab, guys. I'm just using it for reason best known to me. So um they will ask for this security. I guess the number I type in is not correct. You type it again. So if you can hear some background noise, it's raining where I am at the moment. So it's the rain that you can you can hear. So I'm successfully into Amazon account. So I need to just log in. So once I log in, I have my email ready. So I believe you should have your password ready too. 
I type in my password and I, I'll click on keep me login. That's all because I don't want to keep <clears throat> logging in into the account every now and then. So enter the last. Okay, this is security. Security says B Y N two six Z. Hopefully it works. So the password again, I guess maybe the password I typed was not correct. That's why it's giving me that uh, that security to confirm for security purpose. Okay, now the OTP. I have the OTP on my Google Authenticator. I just need to open the app on my phone. So once I open the app, I'll type in that one time code that display in few seconds. Where is this? I can't find this again. Okay, it has changed. So I just switch it to the change one. It says 576 is one time 399. I can call it out because it's one time. It will change in every 60 seconds, I guess. So I'm in. So first thing first, I would like I love checking the name I open this account with so that I can easily change this because I love my names to correspond. I use Kelly Son. So I, I love my name to correspond to whatever. I want to use on my KDP account. So for this account I want to use, I have an account with Peonia. So the name that is on, on that Peonia account is this, right? So I'm going to explain something to you guys. So with that, I'll just come here, edit, edit, then have the name here. So now, as you can see, this is the name I have on my Peonia account, right? For people that have been asking that they want to have multiple accounts or their account has been terminated, this or that, and can they use the same name they have in that account? Now, let's assume I've used uh, uh, this same name on a previous account, or I want to have multiple accounts that either my pounds, your, my, my USD, or my euro account has the same name, which is true. It must, your bank details should be correct. It will have the same name, right? So, this is the name I have on the bank account, right? So, what I, I feel I can do here, I can decide to come here and use Olua, and use Olua, as my name in short here i can just decide to write the tosin here because it's still my name olua and tosin is still present i don't know if you, are, if you get this it's still present in the name that carries the bank details i can decide to come here where is it i can decide to come here again paste this i can decide to use let's say Olua, right? Olua and and uh, let's say this. Just remove this. If you should check this spelling, this spelling is still present in this name. I don't know if you are getting it. Just if all these things are your name, when you both don't know, they know, when you both don't they bear this kind of name for crying out loud. So all these names are still your name one way or the other. Because either Olua or Nelkon or Neken, because L is not present here, is still inside this spelling you are seeing here. Am I making sense? Okay. So let me let me proceed. I don't want to waste your time. Just save this. Once this has been saved, what you need to do next is uh, now open the KDP account itself. So this has been saved. I can easily just go down to the KDP account, kdp.amazon.com. So it's a new account I want to set up. Just click sign in because I already logged in the Amazon itself. So you just click on agree. Once you click on agree, <clears throat> it will log you in automatically. As you can see, what you see first here is your account information is incomplete. What you need to do is just click on update now. Once you click on update now, it will bring you to a page where you need to complete the information. So I come back here to see the name I use, Olua Neken. That's what I use. So the legal name here is, that's what I'll be using. That's what me, I feel like using. They don't have issue with that. You just use capital N here. That's all. Then I, I come down. Then to the address, this is where the magic starts on. The address should be a United States address. And how do, do we do that? Come to the country, select United States, then come to the address. Like I explained to you guys before now, just go to Google and type uh, fake address in the USA, right? 
I love using the second one, this fake address, fake something, something.com. It will give me different fake addresses in the United States. It will work. Just copy the streets. Once you copy the streets, come down here, you paste it. <clears throat> one. So this is optional. You see this one, the uh, asterisk. The asterisk, the country, asterisk, the uh, line, uh, address line one. Line two is not asterisk, meaning it's not important. It's optional rather. So come to the CT. You copy the CT. Come down to the CT, you paste. Then which state is which state? The state says this. Copy the state. Then you bring it here. You paste. Right? Then the zip, the postal code or zip code, whatever they call it. So where's the postal code? This is the postal code. Copy it. Then uh you paste. Postal code. Bam. The address has been added, right? Yes, confirm this is a valid address. Confirm. That's a valid address. Now, next is, you know, phone number is very important. Though the, the, you are not using the phone number from the experience, I will just copy the phone number I saw here. I can just edit the brackets, remove the bracket, remove the IFIN. I remove the brackets. I remove the uh, IFIN. I may remove this. Then Control A and Control C is for people that understand shortcut on keyboard. Then you paste. The address is there. So, I believe it's safe, right? Next is the bank details. Like I, I just shown you, I have a bank details I want to use. So the name of the bank is this, the um, source number is this, the account number is this, and the account name is this. So let me copy you. I don't know. Let me start. I don't know which one to start with. But let's go there. Click on bank. And the bank, as you can see there, is UK. And automatically, they are checking accounts. So let me come there. As you can see, they are UK accounts. And it's a checking account, right? It's UK I'm using. I'm not using a US. So quick one that means you, you not that means so guys you can you can use a uk account you can use a usd account which is a united states and you can use an euro account any one of it will definitely work so they are requesting for the isbn and sort code what is the isbn i don't know what that is so let's read what they have the international bank account number that's meaning of isbn so you just come to where you have your account so this is the account number right i feel that's what they want you come down here you paste it contain 15 to 16 i don't know if that's true so one two three four five six seven eight nine i don't know if that's the number they are requesting for the source code is said same as swift code let's see what we have but that's all i have for myself source code let's copy this because this was pioneer i'm using pioneer now that means this is not correct i'm using pioneer now huh. okay and this is what and this is what okay this is not correct okay i know what to do I, i'll just risk this account for the sake of this video right so let me just come back here i'll be using a United States. I have another account. For the sake of this video, I'll risk this account for a for this particular stuff. So for, to risk this account, I'll just come to this. This. Why I'm saying risk is I've used this account to create. In short, to create an account on KDB before. I've used this account to create an account on KDB before. Why later remove it? So like I why I'm using the word I'll risk it because they will surely come back for me. They will surely come back for me you get and i don't want to stop this video so the, what i need to do here is uh since it's a united states account i'm using i come here united states checking account number and retype the account number okay account number they're requesting for account number so this is account number you come down there then you paste you paste it and you type it again you paste it next is the uh, uh, this Go and look for it. Where is it? Routing number. Copy this. Then you go there and paste. So because of my account number, this have to be correct. All I mean by it, you have to be correct. You put on put in your year of birth, put in your date of birth, and uh, because of your account number. And what's the account holder name? Account holder name is um is here. Then you come down here, you copy and you paste. It's as simple as that. So 
they will they say uh, select the uh select existing address or a new address or just go ahead and select an uh, existing address that the address you just use use this address once and for all right so i confirm to use this address then you just click on add it has been added automatically as you can see you can just click on save to confirm that it has been added let's see as you can see it has been added so this that, that, that's the account amazon remits in the money then lastly is the tax and what do you do the tax click on complete tax information it's very simple process guys so once you get to this tax information when you get tax information we are individual it has as you can see it has been clicked are you a united states citizen no next is a scroll down are you acting as intermediary no let me get my thing i'm not asking you on behalf of anybody or if anybody to do a job so the name is there country of citizenship country of citizenship from experience you can decide everything that has been popular on the internet on youtube generally is a uh, uh they will say you should use a south african address yes it's working but for me i took my time to make some research everybody has been using south africa south africa south africa south africa so i feel i love doing my things in a separate way not following the crowd following what the audience are doing so i make some research and i get to find a another country entirely that i feel i can use and doing that i feel you can use not i feel i can use spain i can decide to use spain it will work spain for the sake of this video you can use spain you can use uk you can use south africa you can use other countries like I, I can't even pronounce but those are the countries you can take your time to sit down and start checking country that works so for this sake of this video i'll just stick to spain so country of residence come back here you need to choose what you choose there spain as well country of residence so what you need to do next is come to google and type fake address in the country you picked decide to use spain so i come here this is the fake address in spain so i just copy the address country a control c then come down there then paste the address the address is this paste it so remove it and it will work the second address is optional the city is important come to the city copy the city Control c then uh then you remove it and paste it so all other things that are here are optional so remove it as you can see they wrote it optional remove it this one too is optional remove it remove it then scroll down set as my permanent address yes then tin guys so for before now people that have been to amazon kdp they will ask you to use your nin yes it works but over time everybody has one ein let's assume you use your family and friend ein to want to do this but guys there's a way around this thing to even find someone to use his or her ein is kind of difficult so when i make my research i get to know that wow i can use a random number 11 random number and it works and how are you going to get that just type in 11 random number or just come to the fake address you decide to pick just copy this number that is there control a and control then come here control c and paste it so remove all this space remove all this space so now let's read or let's count rather i have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine 10, 11. I decided to add 9, 9 to it to make it an 11 number. Then scroll down. Click on I have a U. No, not that. Click that. Um, click that. Make sure you're not clicking this. Then click on continue. So once you click on continue, you scroll down. As you can see, the selected country qualify for this. So how do I get the other country to use? I was just checking. I'll just click on here. That means this country too works. Let me look for country that is not working. Click on this. As you can see, it will change. That means the, the country that are qualified be listed as we are changing it. Switzerland is qualified. Uh, Togo. Togo never can never be qualified. African country. Like, like. This is how I get to know. Tunisia is qualified. Let's see. United Arab. That's Yubo. Dubai is not qualified. So that, that's how I took my time to just play around this thing. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is not qualified. 
So just play around to, with, with these things. So remember, it's pain we are using. So just stick to the pain that you use. Stick to the pain. So for you to get more uh, qualified country, this is the process I use to get qualified country. Because personally, like I said, I don't like using what people are using. I, lo I love... I love having my team to be unique. That's how I got to know this. So the person that did that, South Africa is working. That's what everybody are copying. I believe over a thousand or million of people that have opened Amazon KDP since, since that update came out. Everybody just stick to South Africa, South Africa, South Africa. You can easily just come here, look at the country that you think is uh, uh, that are qualified. Then you click. So once you click on it, they will say that the selected country qualifies. Then you click on confirm. You are eligible towards. Then you click on save uh, review. So what you just need to do in the end next is uh, the name you have here. Yeah, just copy this name. The way your name is here. Yeah, copy it. Then scroll down. You paste the name as a signature. I satisfy. Click on this. Paste it as signature. Paste it as a signature. And voila. Just click on submit form. So once you click on submit form, as you can see, val validated 0% tax. Uh, 0% from 30 tasks automatically jump to 0%. Then you click on exit interview. Once you click on exit interview, you go back to where you feel the information. You click back to where you scroll down, and this one you load, you see it will change automatically to 0%. 0%. Then you click on save. You are done. You are done. So once you click on save, just come back to your bookshelf or click on home. You see that the Kindle Villa has been automatically added. Then you have nothing to do next. Just start publishing your books on this account. It's as simple as ABC. No need to wait for anybody. No need to just start writing your books and publish on Amazon KDP. Guys, you need to give me thumbs up for this video. You need to give me a subscribe. Please, please let me see how many subscribers I have at the moment. Please and please subscribe to my channel. I guess I'm still on a hundred and forty or something, or hundred and fifty. I want to check how many subscribers I have, guys. So, guys, please, please and please, if you can push me to one k in the next twenty four hours. Okay, my subscriber is one fifty three at the moment. Like I said, I appreciate people that are following me in less than seven days, guys. You are the real reason why I'm here. You can still ask me questions in the comment section. You can still send me a DM through my WhatsApp status. I have my WhatsApp number that's on the description of this video. Please, guys, please, guys, subscribe to my channel and share this video with whoever you think will need this information. Whoever you think is craving for this information, guys. Now, beggar, the beggar, no to shakara. So, guys, and if you want to sign up for any of my mentorship, like I, I always say, I have two kind of uh, two type of mentorship, I the general mentorship and the one on one um, mentorship. So guys, feel free to send me a DM. I I teach, I mentor you. I understand that there's some a certain set of people that they even paying for calls. They still need someone to be like accountable partner, someone that can own them hand in hand to teach them. Okay, you're doing this right. You're doing this wrong. They need someone to push them. Because doing stuff on their own, they tend to like, I don't know how to put the English, they tend to like relax. So guys, if you fall under that category, feel free to send me a DM, sign up for my mentorship, and I bet you with you that your life will never remain the same. And I can also guarantee that between the first 90 days, you'll be able to scale to have uh, between a 100 USD to 2,000 USD in your dashboard. So see you in the next video. Feel free to comment the what you expect or what you are finding difficult to understand when it comes to Amazon KDP in the comment section of this video. And I will make a video around it and upload or, or publish on, on this YouTube for you guys to learn. See you on the next video and uh, bye for now.